So uh, we've made sure that the motor is easy to pull in, pull out and get back in. Yeah, from the 32 times that we've yeah. put it in and pulled it out. You know, so Ryan, if you gotta pull this thing out, it's not too bad, don't worry. We're doing some actual kind of fun stuff now. Like, feels like we're getting somewhere. Put this little unit on. Yes. Bolts right here in my pocket. What does that look like a little quadrajet? Yeah. Even kind of goldish, you know. Yeah, yeah. Got the one, one feed oh, line. There's a gasket over here. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't, I don't I'm, I'm missing something. I just think that I thought. Been a minute. It has. Looks good on there, you know. Other than you know, we didn't clean it up real good. <laughs> Man, everyone's so mad that we didn't <laughs> clean it up any better. That's what I heard. Well, somebody said something about look like you half-assed it. Yeah. That's that's half-assed. You know, it matches the half-assed job that we do. Yeah. You know, yeah. what are you gonna do? I like the one guy who's uh, well, not one guy. There's Another complaint is, uh, how come how come these junkyard LSs instead of uh, leaving the small block Chevy in it? Well, or putting a small block Chevy in it? Well, you can't find a small block Chevy from a junkyard complete, ready to drop in for five hundred bucks. Not that it doesn't have problems. Right. I mean, this thing we what four hundred fifty, five hundred bucks for this mm -hmm. motor, mm -hmm. and then I, I made that argument, and they're like, well, yeah, but we all know that's not a junkyard motor. We know we know how tight you guys are with Texas speed. I was like, dude, this literally come out of some dude's driveway. <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna put a Texas speed motor in this thing. <laughs> yeah. Look at this thing, guys. It, this isn't this is just a driver. Like this is Casey's toy. Yeah. She's gonna drive this whenever she wants to. Uh, she's gonna be able to get in it, fire it up, take it wherever. Is she gonna daily drive this thing? Hell no. Is That's this thing cool. gonna set a lot? Absolutely. Yep. Are they gonna let their kids drive it? Probably. Yep. Casey right now is probably saying no. <laughs> but you know, it it's it's a toy, it's what it is. It's not like this thing is restored. Nope. And that's not what we're trying to do to it. We're not trying to restore it. Uh you know, we're gonna do some other things to it, you know, and make sure it's good to go, make sure it's good to drive. And we're gonna call it good. Let's be real. The what what, what was in this thing? A two eighty nine or two eighty seven or whatever? I think it was a two eighty three. Two eighty three. Uh it wasn't the, the original motor. It was it gutless, was, oh, right? No, terrible. So this this engine with this with a camshaft in it will literally make over 300 horsepower to the tires. That old one made what 130? Shit. Maybe. I doubt it. It was missing, and yeah, it, it wasn't even worth uh, restoring because at the end of the day, it was still like a 283. Right. Uh, and it took me. I had to replace what? What did I have to replace on it? The hub, the the front balancer. And it took me forever to find one, yep. and then come to find out that's why I couldn't find one because it was different. Yep. Somebody out there is going to go, oh, it's not different. And you might be right. It could be, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to have to put, uh, guys, we still have the Turbo 350, the original Turbo 350 in this uh, one. Yep. So it's got a detent cable. Boom. And the detent cable is, ooh, look at all this room I got back here. I can just reach down and touch oh, the transmission. Yeah. Um, so this is gonna have to come over here like this. And like so. Just like, boom, attached to the, the throttle so that whenever you go wide open, it'll, you know, passing gear, Yeah, they call it. Kick down. There you go. Um, I'm sure I'm not gonna use this. Look at this. Um, this went like this. This is janky and I mean, I'm gonna use the same thing. Yeah. The same type, Just but not. a little newer. Yeah, not as and deep honestly, up. we could probably use this kick down cable. Yeah, I think it's the exact same one. You see how it's different sizes it on is. both sides? I think it is. Um, which I will probably have to make fit. Yeah. Cause I don't think that this one's gonna would we fit. Have, would we make, 
You made one at one uh, point. Was it for the four door donk? Probably. I hate them. Yeah. It's it's it just it's one of those things that sucks. You know, like you can do away with it, but then it's not going to shift down. There's no other way. Yeah. Like Aiden Chevelle, we had to deal with it on that one. Uh, we had to deal with it on the donk. Uh, anything that has a turbo 350 700 R. Yeah. Like all of those have detent cables, they suck, and most of the time they'll get cut. And then you gotta, oh, it sucks. <laughs> you gotta get it in there, and it's it it does this and bends down like this, and you can hook them yeah. without tearing the pan and stuff off. But man, it, it sucks. So I've been doing some reading about the the sniper deal there, and they say instead of using a metal stud for the breather. To use a nylon one because the metal one will act as an antenna and it can give you some interference in the ecu deal so a, a nut for what a, a nylon stud for the air cleaner there in the center you know uh -oh. instead of using a metal one or you know use your use the normal metal one but if you have any interference type stuff with your fuel injection tuning or whatever wow. so use a nylon stud and it'll it'll do away with it well, if this was ours, we wouldn't have to worry about that be because no we wouldn't cleaner. have an air cleaner on They're, Those are fire hazards. <laughs> yeah. You know, some fire. Especially really. if they <coughs> <coughs> you know, cough a little bit. Yeah. They go up and smoke. Yep. And with the way that we've had fires since we've been in this new shop. Man. Man, we had more fires in this shop than we had in the old one. I don't know. You had a couple in the old one. I had a pretty good one at one point. Um, but yes, no, it, it looks good. Yes, we need to clean it up a little bit, but. It matches get, the rest of let's the. Let's get real. Uh, this dirt right here. This is after a power wash. That is not gonna bother Casey a bit. She is not she gonna go. Gonna see that. She's not gonna go, oh yeah, there's some mud up there. I'm gonna have to go around. Yeah, that, well, that you, ain't well you couldn't clean this off? Yeah. So uh I mean if we wanted to do that, we could pull the the chassis off, pull the body off the chassis, take it outside, power wash it, mm -hmm. you know, coat the frame. Blast it. You know, go it. ahead and replace every bit of rust on this thing, mm -hmm. which would be the whole thing. Yeah and then put it all back together. We're not restoring this I mean, thing. about 120 grand or so, you can make this thing like brand new. Yep. And then you can sell it for like 200,000. God dang, these things are ridiculous. Or 400,000, depending on, on who you are. That one, those yeah. bad. No, those guys, they're the real deal, man. Like, they fucks with K5s and C10s. And I remember seeing that thing at SEMA, and I, d I didn't see it because I wasn't looking for that kind of stuff, but- Aaron was. Aaron seen that thing, and for her to be in like, you guys got to come look at this. It, yeah. was, it was a no, big deal. She was, she was really impressed with it, you know, yeah. and they're good. That's what they do, you know, yep. and, and it paid off. They sold four cars at Barrett Jackson and they came away with 930 something thousand dollars Man. after, after fees and everything. Damn. So, you know, and those guys, but if you look at their work, it's everything that they Second do is legit, none. dude. Yeah. So nice. Like, I even told Aaron, I think while I was watching Barrett Jackson, I, I mean, yeah, I build cars. I could never build something that nice. Yeah. Never. Like, if I wasn't juggling around doing a million different things, man, I probably could. Yeah. You know? But I I don't have the abilities that a lot of the, most of those guys do. Yeah. You know? Or the... The working environment or any of that stuff. Or the patients. Yeah, or the patients. <laughs> it's going to start on. But I'd like to get this done and, and, and out of here. Uh, we're still waiting on a few things. Since we moved the motor forward, we're waiting on front and rear drive shafts to come back in. Uh, we do have a, a little surprise for Casey. Uh, we got some Detroit steel wheels and some very, very nice, a uh, very, very nice Detroit steel wheels mm -hmm. and very nice Nitto uh, right? mudish tires. Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah it's, it's the Nitto Recon Grappler. It's actually the exact same tire we got on the Scout. And we're gonna put a little lift on it uh, just because some of the suspension stuff on this is, is worn out like the rest of the truck. <laughs> uh, so we will we'll address all that. And whenever it leaves, is it still gonna be a beat up, rusty pile? Absolutely, but it's gonna run good. It's gonna be safe. Uh, I won't be worried. And whenever I put these tires on this thing, six, eight years ago, whatever, however long ago I yeah. put them on there, I love them. I think that the old Army 
ish looking tires are really cool and that's something that uh man the only place i could find anything cool like that was what was a coker tire or something <laughs> right yeah. yeah um it was really cool you're not getting this thing up on the highway like these things at 35 raw 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 <laughs> raw that's what it sounds like going down the road yeah. you know because they are a they're not a radial yep. this is a bias ply tire uh, and not to mention it's been sitting outside for at least two years two though. years here at our place yeah um, they're weather cracked uh, they've got good tread on them uh, and honestly man they're still holding air mm -hmm. now that we pulled them in, in the shop but the sidewalls are cracked and I I was gonna leave them on there but I don't trust it to give to her to drive well so. this thing's gonna be able to get up on the highway now like in the past with that little 83 it they probably a side street deal, but this thing's gonna well, make the power to get up to and speed. And you know how many times that Ryan called me and said, "Hey, man, I, I really feel like uh, I really feel like the the cam had a bad lobe on oh. it because there was nothing that we could do to make that thing not backfire." <laughs> As it got, remember it caught on fire, yeah. like it caught on fire in Ryan's shop. Yeah. Uh, and then remember the exhaust that we pulled off this thing? It, it blew the muffler yeah, out. It blew yeah. the muffler out. Uh, the motor just had problems, you know? So she didn't get the, a chance to drive this thing like she wanted to. Yeah. So, you know, we're gonna try to get it a little bit closer for her. And then after that, here you guys go. Yep. Here's a good platform for you guys to build off of. Is there rust holes? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. How the door shut? Eh, yeah. they shut. Sometimes. <laughs> you know, so no, it, it, it is what it is. They actually do say it shut pretty good, but you know, we put the new front end on it, the new doors on it. Uh, the body though is still, you know, the tub, mm -hmm. it's still rusty, you know? We actually put rockers on it, didn't we? Yes, rocker boxes. We put rockers and rocker boxes Yes, on it. yes. So the strength of the frame <laughs> yeah. and the box is okay. Yep. Uh, the bedsides, yeah. quarter panels, whatever you wanna call them. Yeah. I do not call anything with a truck. It's not a quarter panel? I don't call it a quarter panel. Oh, a lot okay. of people do. A lot of people do. Yeah. So uh, so how does that go in MPK rules? Could it have fiberglass bedsides? Did it come with fiberglass? No. Nope. But it didn't come with quarters either. No, they're not quarters. <laughs> not on a truck. They're still bedsides. Yeah, I know. Um, it's just, that's kind of like me with the rim. <laughs> yep. I understand a lot of people call the rim them rims. Goal. A rim is on a basketball goal, just yep. to let everybody know. These sir, are wheels, yep. a wheel and a tire. Now a wheel does have a rim. Oh yeah, the you outside know, of it. The outside of it is the rim, yeah. just like on a basketball goal. Yeah, or the rim of the glass. Yeah, anyways, I don't even want to get into <laughs> that a, argument. That's a whole other argument. Yeah, if we're going to open up that can of worms, we may as well start talking about what's a street car. Oh man, here it's we go. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing, we know that's a street car. So, uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, I, this thing is cool. And as soon as I saw it, yeah, it's all beat up. A lot of people love the beat up look, you know? And I think Casey loves this thing the way that it is. So I know the day that I bought this thing, she was, oh, you know, and she loved it. Yeah. And then, you know, it is what it is. So, and I know she wants it back. Yep. So we're trying to get it done before we, before we go over there. But so. anyways, man, hey, we're making some progress with this. Now that the boys are back, here before too long we're going to be putting the front end on it so that uh, i mean i'm sure at some point we'll set a battery right here mm -hmm. but to start this thing up considering we already have the the converter bolted up because that was for the we third pulled time. that thing out three times just <laughs> for the converter uh it is bolted up now uh it has its extended snout on it and yep, yep. And, and uh the flex plate has the dual pattern yep. to fit this one uh that guy over there that we just pulled out of it did not no nope. Um, it was a good slice plate though. Yep. So, uh, now we got to go find an alternator, which those things run rampant around here. Yeah, they do. Uh, and then, you know, start connecting all of our holes. But the thing that we have to do is we have to have our radiator here because we have already hooked up everything in our transmission. We cannot start this thing without this. Now I could put tranny fluid in it, loop, loop these them. and then start it which is sounding like a pretty good idea. I mean, you know. Other than we don't have any of this hose. <laughs> yeah. There's certain things that this shop guys, we don't have yet. Uh, no, when it, like when it was finally time to move out of the old shop, it was one of those deals. 
bring it or throw it away. And if it looked like it needed to be thrown away or didn't, in some cases it got thrown away. So. Well, and remember, I had just uh, had surgery on my toe, so I wasn't doing a whole lot. And I told you, when in doubt, throw it away. Yep, and I like to throw shit away. And he threw some shit away, man, you know? So yep. and we're already filling this place back up. I bet they wanted us to come over there and let them in. Huh? Oh, probably. Man, we should have put a door over there. I know. Because that's your parking spot. That's, you I can like tell to park the there. boys, too. Yeah. Oh, they were smart. Oh, the man. They are. You know what? That door's been unlocked this whole time, and I still walk my ass around every, every Did day. Did you guys know that that door was unlocked? Yeah. Uh, uh, huh? It was locked, and then I unlocked it. Man, your hair is awesome. I know. Looks good. Okay. So, uh, we're talking about this project here. Let's fire it up. Uh, well, no. <laughs> We're not. It's never ending optimism. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like we're ready, guys. It's going to work. Everything's yep. going to be fine. Yep. That's Dalton. Dalton is a glass half full type guy. Absolutely. So, um, we're probably going to need to put a list together and have you guys run into... O'Reilly's. Yep. Okay. Um, we need an alternator for the 55. You got that pulley? Then we don't, man, it's not that big of a deal. We can do it tomorrow. Um, but we're gonna need clamps. Ooh. Yoda? You guys good? <laughs> no, we're not. No. Just gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> you gotta be shit? Yeah. Good. Dalton had to in Dairy Mart. Yeah, no, Dalton, Dalton was in Dairy Mart eating his fries and went, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Dalton does. They just hit you? Yeah. No, that's Dalton. Yeah. Hey, we, we've been having, yep. we've been eating a Mustang. You get, you get all like, hot and sweaty. No. And <laughs> Like there's no bathroom. For the record, there's no bathroom in Dairy Mart either. Yeah. No. You ain't going to the bathroom. No, so we've been in Mustang uh. multiple times. Doesn't matter where we're eating at. We'll be sitting down, don't look, take a bite, and go. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll go, might have to drive home. And then he'll we'll leave. Have to drive home. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll leave right in the middle of him eating, and then goes, drives home, and goes, I'm good, boys. And he'll come back. Yep. <laughs> I don't even come back. I when you gotta go, you gotta go. I, I can't do it anywhere else but my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your happy place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I stink my own bathroom up. That's right. No one else is. Yep. You don't have someone walking in going, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. God, man, somebody died in here. <laughs> yep. So uh, we'll get a little list uh, <laughs> together for the boys to go to to get, and we're probably gonna need, ooh, we need to mm. tap and. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, that's what I got this. that other fitting for. I got the fitting in there. Okay, so we need to tap this. Probably be a good idea to do it now. Yep. Uh, we'll tap this, and then we'll need that a hose for that. Yes. And then we'll need hose here to there, hose here to there. Oh, I got hose for that, too. Uh, We're good there. For what? For the steel. Okay. Uh, as far as radiator hoses go, I'm just going to have to put the radiator up here and figure it out after yep, that. Yep, get you some welding rod and bend it around. And... Uh, but what obviously looks like it sucks right now is that this and this come to this side but surely we can oh yeah yeah because this one on the chevy truck comes up and yes. over and yes other than that we can get some three eight toes and just loop that we got tranny fluid we've got plenty of maxima <laughs> throwing this bill oh yeah this thing's about done i mean it's I, getting closer tomorrow, we're gonna start it tomorrow it works. Okay, so we got the front end put back on this deal. Uh, you know, everything was right before we put it on, but then we put it on and something happened that it wouldn't start, or when it would start, it would stay running, wouldn't stay running. Yeah. Somebody forgot to hook a ground up. We won't name any We don't, we don't really need to talk about it or nah, anything. It's it, not a big deal. Yeah. Two hours later, it's fixed. Yeah, What's I mean, problem? fixed is fixed, and that's all that really matters. Yeah. So, that, that, I'll be honest with you, man, that sniper deal, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, once it was all hooked up and we had the powers right and everything, that thing, like, rolled over twice and fired off. 
and then it just ran. So now we are going to open up the uh, what is this radiator? Uh, honestly, the, I don't know. Uh, one of them's a radiator. One of them is a fan shroud. Okay. So this stuff has been sitting for. So we, whenever Two we, years. yeah, whenever we first started this project, you know, the big block swap, we called Southern Kentucky Classic and said, hey, we're, this is what we're doing. We, we like some new stuff. And they said, okay, yeah, we got it. We so. need a, a new radiator and we need a, a fan shroud. And honestly, this thing has been sitting in the back where we didn't mess it up. Yep. Just been hanging out in the back. So I am going to open it up. Honestly, man, this one don't feel heavy enough to be a fan shroud or a shroud. A radiator? Yeah. But it kind of looks like it is. Nope. Shroud. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Radiator. Oh, wow. Look at that. Dang. See, I, I seen this. Oh, and I was yeah. like, man, it's got to be it. Uh, but this should be coming from them, uh, the stock radiator that, that came in this truck. Except probably aluminum instead of uh, copper or what? I, I don't know. It must be. Because it ain't very heavy. These boxes just don't hold up after two years. No, nope. two years of weather and they just, they just won't hold up. Got her all painted up. I do not believe that this is, this is original. Not that I, I do not believe it's not original. I'm yeah. saying it is original. Yeah. What's that mean? Volunteer state? Yeah. That's Tennessee. I thought they were in Kentucky. Volunteer state is the... It's Tennessee, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're the Tennessee volunteers. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. God dang. No. They didn't teach that stuff in Sayre, huh? No. Let's see how this is. Nope. You know what? Ooh, look at that. What is it? Oh. What is, oh, that's the uh, drain, huh? Yeah, it should be a cockpit in that deal. Where's that at? Uh, how nice would it be if the hardware and everything was in here to, to make that rig fit? Why does it say that that's glass? Look, it's been two years, man. I'm pretty sure that this is, I'm pretty sure that this is a, a shroud, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. That's a shroud. Oh, yeah. They just didn't want the UPS drivers to fumble it around. Well, two years ago, the UPS drivers had handled it with caution a little bit more than what they do nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, it just wouldn't get delivered. Look at this. Wow, it's oh, got all shit. new brackets and everything. Uh -huh. I don't want to be like the boys, but uh, not throw this away until we... Yeah, look through, through everything. Package at the bottom of it. It's not going to fit the nine blade? It should. Let's see. Oh man, that's big. Yeah, it is not it, it is not gonna fit, I don't think. Just be gonna have to trim her up. I think you have it upside down though. Upside down. Not that that's gonna yeah, give us any more room up front. <laughs> Shitting these out of the way. I don't think so. No? Oh, okay. Man. I mean. If he had about an inch and right a half, there. it'd probably fit. <laughs> yeah, but. Oh, does that, the radiator go up in the. That's where oh, okay. it clips. Well, yeah, it's perfect then. Right? I don't see that happening, but there's no way we're going to get that lucky. But let's. Uh, you know what's really going to suck? I don't know. See where to bump that to. Oh, that's uh, these deals. These. They're, the ones are still on the core support. 
the old ones. And then it bolts to these. We really need another one of these. Nice clips though. This one right here has got to be almost rusted in too. Yeah. Not that there's any rust on this case. Very little. It's a survivor for sure. Yeah. All original parts. One owner kept inside. No bolts or anything, but. <laughs> Plenty of brackets. What's all that? Shirts? Probably. definitely not fitting in. I mean, I wouldn't say definitely. I thought that the radiator went under the core support. I can make her fit. Just trim it up. Yeah. Okay. We go rob some bolts off of this car that we just tore all apart. And I'm pretty sure I can make that fit. And then after that, yes. We are 100%, but man, look at how much they allow, allow for you to cut. Oh, we yeah. can trim that thing all the way back to here if we need to. Yep. You know, probably about an inch and a half. Take about yeah, an inch and a half Somewhere in there. Over. Probably slide right in. Yep. Okay, grab that tape measure right there. Let's do something real quick. Okay. Measure from here to here. Okay, it's what, two and five eighths. You know how I know that? Because it says it. Because this is a dummy tape measure. <laughs> that that worked. It will, won't it? But how are you going to get it in there? I'm going to put this on first and then oh, and slide then... the radiator in. Hey. It's right wicked smart. Right like uh, on, on the newer Chevy trucks, though, they're two piece. So I know it makes it easier. Sucks. It does suck getting them apart and putting them back together. Yeah. Um, man, there's a bolt hole that I could put right there. And there's a hole here and a hole here. I could probably just, ooh, just slide that baby in. She's tight in there anyways. I'm afraid that, let's see. Right about there. She's gonna hit. The just band's a, gonna just, hit? Just a little bit. It'll clearance itself, right? No? Yeah, I mean, and we can, we can probably massage it around a little bit. Let me see. I mean, man, if this works, this thing is gonna stay cool. Man, yeah. man, it's gonna look pretty good too. Oh yeah. Even with our dirty LS motor. Just dirty. Yeah. I know it drives some of you people crazy. <laughs> Look at the truck it's going in, man. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that still believe that this is a Texas speed motor that we paid thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> for. Yeah. Sorry, Casey. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's not the case. <laughs> hey, it did fire up, though. Yeah. It didn't smoke, nope. it doesn't nothing, so. 
even all dirty and shit. I mean, is that not more dumb? Like, it's dumb to bitch about it being dirty in the first place. Mm -hmm. But is it the same people that's bitching that it's dirty? The same ones saying that it's from Texas Speed? Yes. So, from Texas Speed, we dirtied it up so that... We... Hey, hang on. Let me get this right. We dirtied it up so that it wouldn't look like it was from Texas Speed? Or did Texas Speed sell us a dirty one? Yeah. I don't... Know. We've bought stuff, stuff from Texas Speed before and never got anything that was dirty nope. already. No. That's like going to Walmart and getting diapers that's already been shit in. Yeah. I need to return these. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, work, man. man. I think that's People gonna work. Let's, uh, I think I'm gonna put that. You gonna drop the rat in? Right. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know why things, certain things bother me, but that's one of them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Call it a radiator. Yeah. You know? Drop the rat in. This is gonna arc off of something. something. I know it. Got to. That train? No, it's Aiden. Oh. Just all over town beating that truck up. Yep. Okay. I won't be out here too late. I say we just leave this unplugged. And then where is the little screw or whatever? It is? That's hot, just to let you know. Okay. Ooh, so are all these. Okay, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put it in. Okay. And then I'll probably uh, need them clips. Let's see if we have... Man, hopefully there's one in there. I know. I mean, it's not like O'Reilly's doesn't have one, but it'd be nice to fill this thing up with water. Man, they got us. They got us. What about, <laughs> what about just a, a plug? Do we got a plug that size? Uh, maybe. Because look, even this is. Hmm. Man, that means that there's going to be a, a little gap. gap right here. Yeah, I don't like that. You know, shouldn't you it have that? that top plate like the wagon hat, like over that? No, these didn't have that. That sucks. Because what I would normally do is just cut this thing off like this and then just put new holes right here mm -hmm. suck this thing back as far as possible but it's not really gonna matter not to mention I feel like it needs to I feel like the radiator needs to go down some yeah I know but, but it will not it's in place nope it's in the it's in the dedicated spots let me go up here and rob some of these uh, 18, 3 by 8 16, 18. 5 16 18. 5 16 18. Mm -hmm. nope. Oh. Well, this don't hold much, does it? It didn't even hold a gallon? Uh, no. I mean, I'm sure some of it went through there and came into here. Some of it still goes, a little bit goes by that thermostat. Did you believe me when I said it? Huh? Somebody did on the camera. Okay. I believed it when I said it. <laughs> so this thing is uh, about ready to go down the road, right? Like. I think so. We don't. We don't have a cap, do we? This motherfucker didn't come with a cap. Mm -mm. God Surely dang. We
How you send a radiator with no cap? I don't know, same way you do it with no bolts. Man. Uh, <laughs> what about this old radiator over here? Fuck no. It ain't got one either. I also don't want to start this up with no cap on it. Why? <laughs> don't say the pressure thing. It's not true. That? You sure? Yep. They fired up then. Lucky's bullshitting us. Well then let's put this thing fucking on, on and uh, let's run it until it, until it circulates. Okay. Let her get up to operating temperature. Y'all watch how this thing just busts off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuel pump prime. So in our rush to get this thing running, we put a fuel filter on it. We you put know. a carbureted fuel filter on we it. We put a carbureted, yeah. I think it did explode it. It had to have. Hey, hey, you're stepping all in that fuel. Um, oh man, that thing is not happy. It exploded at the Oh, yeah, it did right here. Look, yep. it blew the whole side out. <laughs> so we knew, uh, man, some of the stuff that we didn't show you guys because it's frustrating and it sucks man, and it's just, it's just this, this whole thing has whipped our ass. Um, so what we did was we took the fuel tank out, which bear in mind, I bought that fuel tank brand new five, six years ago. Yeah. Uh, whenever I first got this K5, uh, from Southern Classics, you know, same place that we got the radiator and everything from. Well, <clears throat> it was been sitting for three or four years, so everything was all messed up. And not to mention, we had to put a electric fuel pump in the tank to run the fuel injection. Didn't have to, we could have put one uh, on the frame rail, but- They're loud. They're loud, you know, and you hear them a lot. And Yep. Is it easier to get to to change? Absolutely, but yep. they suck. Uh, we put one on the donk, and I hate it. <laughs> I know. It, uh, it's rough. Sorry, the blue donk. Yeah. Uh, and I hate it. Uh, so we knew that the tank was pretty shitty inside it. So I spent hours. Uh -huh. Uh, we put rocks in it from outside and then we'd put E85 in it and we'd shake it around. My whole body's hurting from shaking this thing around, trying to, trying to get the rocks to break loose all the shit that's inside the tank. So after I did that for a few hours, I poured everything out. I got the hot seat and sprayed inside it. Uh, and, it and that hot seat gets real hot. 
I let it sit in there for about an hour, I'd dump it out. I'd hot see it again inside, let it sit in there for about an hour and dump it out. Uh, you know, there's still a little bit in the tank. So we didn't want to run anything that was in this tank through the, the fuel injection system. So what we did was we put a filter on there that we knew, you know, that we gonna, had. It was gonna filter some that stuff. That we had, Yeah. you know? And uh, it, so now- It did its job until the end. We're about to replace it with this right here. So we're sitting there idling the thing. It's just, just idling. And I'm thinking, man, I'm fixing to send Ryan a video of this, you know, and then just, ugh. and then there's fuel all underneath it. And we were like, oh, we forgot, we forgot. So I'm going to replace this. I'm going to put this in line real quick. And uh, this is a fuel injected, so it's all metal inside. This one is good to go uh, from like a 01 Chevy truck, 01 to 07 Chevy yeah. truck, uh, about the same as what the motor uh and accessories you yep. uh lots of stuff from Pretty this much thing everything come yeah. from that so the fuel pump uh is from deach works it's for a 2001 chevy truck <laughs> uh, so you know try to keep oh just man, fuel everywhere so we're going like to uh, take a break here and uh we're gonna clean we're gonna up clean this up we got some pig mat right yep is it is this uh is this the right way to do this yes okay <laughs> I believe you on this. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, is there a wrong way other than what we did the first time? I don't even think it's out the wrong way. It worked until it didn't. Yeah. And it was what we had, and it was way better than running any of that through the. Oh, yeah. You guys can see, if you've ever seen these filters, that element starts out white. And you can see the color that it is now. So, I mean, it, it did a it did a good job until it just couldn't no more. Oh, it's never gonna work like that. It's gonna be inside there. steering fluid is amazing that's the first time we've ever made our own power steering lines oh yeah so uh what are those those are ict fittings right and then uh uh one of the crimp poses yep came from summit yeah uh, they're ict fittings um yeah and then just a crimp crimp yeah. pose for my ground and miller yeah something that'll handle some pressure reach you haven't fired this thing up reach in there and fire it up the one time you tried to fire it up it did not i happen. never even did that Aiden did. oh <laughs> I mean, you barely touch that key and it it busts off. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty impressed with this little sniper unit, to be honest with you. Yeah. And then mom was out here the other day, and she's like, "That's what my car needs." No, it does. Yeah. Man, dude, that, that wind, wind is stupid. Ow. Make it there, you think? Yeah. Uh, I mean, circulate it again. Someone was talking about how nice the drive shaft's wearing this thing. Like, damn. It's a half. It's a half. 
front, new front and rears from Dynamic Drive Lines. They're pretty much a part of every project we do anymore. Their their drive shafts are in both Novas, uh, 55, the Donk shop truck, Aiden Chevelle, and now this K5, this beaut of K5. so much but it's not tightening it you sure it's a half yeah this can't this must be in the wrong spot then that's 9 16 isn't it <laughs> yeah i thought it looked <laughs> off the big <laughs> look for the record my eyes suck but look half that one's a half i can tell yes. by looking <laughs> Okay, we're probably still gonna have to hand tighten them. Yeah, hand tighten them from from that side. With the wrench. Am I fighting you with the light? Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Now I don't have to hold this fucking thing. Okay, so we're finally nearing completion on the uh, big block swap K5. Uh, I've been driving it. it. Drives good. The Holly Sniper is pretty cool. Um, the self-learning feature is cool if you know what to tell it that it needs to learn. <laughs> so I, I know just enough that this thing will start and drive down the highway pretty good. But if you try to stick it, a little bit of a dead pedal yeah it'll kind of whoop. yep so it's better than it was but it still needs a little work uh one thing this thing definitely needed was shocks since we put the lift on it uh the stock shocks were kind of at the end of their travel so whenever this thing hits a bump it was super done it was it was just rough yeah so called up o'reilly's ordered some shocks the fancy got ranchos. ranchos got the fancy ranchos with the with the red boots always thought those were cool and uh front's already done finishing up the backs and then it's time to go to the second thing that it really needed which was an alignment and it, and it possibly didn't really need one could have just been bottoming out on the shock so bad that it's yeah. just messed up but i'm sure it still needs to be aligned like you don't do what we've done to this thing and right not get it aligned you know right i mean we have yeah you tried driving it <laughs> i mean i drove it home and back yeah. and i made it it cruised 60 65 the whole way and it was yep. pretty cool we even made sure that there was a uh, fluid in the diffs and everything yeah yeah and yeah, we went the extra mile on this one yeah more 
washers. You know, stretch that old bolt. I right in half? never got. No, I never. Oh, got tied. oh, okay. I never got tight. Let's see if this one does. I mean, tight-ish. It's way tighter than this side. But this gun's usually pretty good. Though. Yeah. I don't know if we ever showed you the exhaust after it got done. Nothing, nothing fancy, but just, nice you know, quiet. nice and quiet. Got the poly manifolds connected to just some not real big pipe here, but put a catalytic converter on it. A catalytic converter, you know? Catalytic converter. Yeah. Big old mag. Ooh, Ooh. Almost got me. Big old Magnaflow muffler. And this thing sounds pretty cool. It's just, it's quiet. It's not loud at all. Look at that, man. It just needed a little bit of muscle behind it. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't trust in battery tools. All right. Set, Set her down. down and, and see if it, uh... Seems any better? Yeah. Or see if it sets higher than what it did before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, drive. Yeah. Man, drive. today is a day that I've been looking forward to for many months. But it could go bad, too. Could it? I mean, like worse or or bad. <laughs> I don't know. So I know it's just something we've had forever. And it's time to let it go. Right? Yeah. So so you guys have seen us throughout the build series of the big block swap K5. Um, you know the the big block plans got changed for an LS because the big block was it was going to be a pain. I don't care what the internet says or how many people have done it. We didn't have the patience for it. LS dropped right in there. And now we've got everything, all the kinks worked out of it. Well, there's still some kinks in it, but they're okay. A kink in the fuel line. <laughs> just, a, just a fuel, uh, you know, where the gas goes in from the well, gas anybody pump. Anybody that knows anything about these K5s knows that that whole uh, design is stupid. Yeah. Uh, the filler neck all the way to the two piece and then you basically you go into O'Reilly's and you and you match it up and you go man I can make this hose work and then you just make one work yeah. because even the ones that you get offline the, all they are is the metal piece because yeah. we did all that we yeah. bought the ones that are for it and then I'm like well where's the hose oh yeah we don't have the hoses yeah. we just have the metal so anyways we replaced all that and we made it and I thought everything was great and it probably would have been if we didn't have to put the tank in and take it out 4,700 times. That's, so that's been a problem. So, you know, this is an EFI conversion. So we, we tried to make our own little in-tank deal to keep from having a noisy fuel pump. So we, we strapped a, a, a Detworks fuel pump inside and it worked for a while. Yeah, no, it, it worked. But, you know, doing that, we pulled the tank out, put it back in pulled it out, put it back in. And then at one point I was driving it, hit a few bumps and uh, the, <laughs> the pump <laughs> fell off. Mm -hmm. It was still working in there. You could hear it pumping. Yep. It just was not hitting our straw. <laughs> so then at that point we came in here, as soon as we got back from MPK, uh, the five weeks, six weeks on the road, we came in here and we were gonna have to move it to get the rig in. Try to fire it up, no fuel pump. Can't hear nothing. No. All of a sudden, the fuel pump just. It was getting power to the fuel pump, yes. but fuel pump was BOA. How's that happen? Like, it literally drove to where it was parked, set for five weeks. We tried to start it, no fuel pump. Yes. So, so I said, look, I'm, I'm not going to put them through this. I don't want them to have to pull this tank down if anything happens. So, we order a new sending unit because remember, we modified the other one. Yes. It was modified. brand new that we had, bar we had just bought. Yes. So, we got a new sending unit in. And then I said, I don't care if you can hear it or not, uh, a fuel pump that is on the frame rail that you have to listen to, you know it's working. Yep. So uh, I, it's not like that's gonna be the loudest thing on this driving oh, down no. the road. So uh, <laughs> they're gonna drive this thing home. So when you say they, we've touched on it, but for those of you that are catching that this, uh, this is your first video on this build. This was for Sean's sister-in-law and brother-in-law, his wife's brother and his wife. Yes. Well, they live in Colorado. Yes. And this is actually Casey's, you know, and Casey really loves it. And, and she, oh, look, it's my BFF. No, you don't. I'm a powering. <laughs> Love you, Dave. He just wants something stupid anyways. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, 
So they came down to get it, and I saw they're in there. I don't know. What is that, a Range Rover? Range Rover or pre Land, Land, Land Rover. Rover Land Rover, Range Rover, they're all the same to me. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, a Lantern and Evo. Yes, they're the same. Yeah. Um, and I'm like... I don't see a trailer behind that thing. <laughs> I'm not even real sure that this thing is heavier than that. Oh, no doubt. You know, it would it would be a haul. It, would, it wouldn't be happy. That's for sure. I mean, it would drive about like this thing's going to drive on the way home. The trailer would be <laughs> the same, same same way Casey's going to have to drive this on the way home. Yep. Uh, we did do a lot to this, and it does drive better. It does. But at the end of the day, it's still like driving a Jeep. It's you know it's kind of yeah. kind of all over I the mean, place. It's Aaron's got an 84 inch wheelbase and it's got big tires and it's on tall, it. Tall and it's lifted a little yeah. bit, you know. But it is what it is. But I do believe that it'll make it. Like they asked me, do you think that it's going to make it home? And I said, oh yeah, I th yeah. I, I, I do believe that it will. Yeah. I think it's going to be a miserable trip. Oh yeah. Like there's no radio. It's hot. It's hot. Like there's hot. There's no air conditioning. No. Like no there's air not even provisionings. No. For no. Air this is a this is a non air conditioned truck. Yeah. Um. It used to have a plow on the front of it, yeah. you know? It has a heater. That's all she cared about was a heater because she lives in Denver. Yeah. So they're gonna take it up on trails and do stuff like that. And with this perfect. LS, it's gonna be great. With the tires that we put on, it's gonna be great. Is it gonna be great for rain? No. It is not. I about no. crashed it this morning. Yeah. So. I thought I was done, dude. I was looking at the wall and I was like, oh man, this is bad. And it straightened out. Yeah. Thank <laughs> just God. Just hey, thank God. <laughs> What I hate for you to crash this thing. Yeah. So, I'm gonna bring them in though. Let them look at it. Let Casey check it out. Like, it's really weird that she likes this thing as much as she does. Yeah. I, I hope that she's happy with it. But when you it, told me time. that she liked it that much, I, I kind of thought you were joking. Kind of hoped you were joking. Yeah. No. But here we are. Yeah. No. <laughs> we made really it real nice it. for her. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, it is pretty damn nice. It just looks the same as what it did. You didn't really make it. You didn't mm -hmm. really make She's it, still trying. It. She's gonna get me all, all dirty, all hairy, huh? 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 She got her teeth cleaned yesterday. Yeah. And then she was high, and man, she was howling because I left her in the house by oh, herself. Oh man, poor thing. Her teeth are nice and white and clean. All right, Casey, come over here. Let me explain everything on your K5. She's making Ryan come with her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go over everything that we do. <laughs> hey, you stop it. I know it doesn't really matter to y'all, but. Oh, Phantom, help me out here, man. Uh, you know, aside from, you know, the big block not being in it anymore, <laughs> the big block would have been too much work. Like if something would have happened to that, this right here, Ryan could go into any parts store, mm -hmm. 01 Chevy truck stuff, yep. piece of cake. Uh, and then Holly, you know, we got a whole bunch of stuff from Holly from this. The headers, uh, the fuel injection stuff, the intake. Um, yeah, so, so hook, you know, hooker manifolds pretty much fits any, any LS swap. Uh, which is exactly the same thing that we did on my K5. Exactly. And then we went with the Holly uh, Sniper EFI, which basically looks like a, you know, it looks like it's old school carburetor. It looks like an old school, what is that, like a... What's, what's those like look a 650, like? 650, oh, like a quadrajet. Yeah, a quadrajet. Looks like a quadrajet, <laughs> but it's it's EFI. Uh, tune it just like any other Holly system, or somebody does. I somebody don't. does. Andre did it for us over yeah. the Mad Russian over at Abel. Yeah. Uh, it's got a little bitty cam in it, so it's got a nice little sound to it, but it's also nice and quiet because it's got a big, big muffler on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we used a lot of our people that we use on, like even like our race cars, uh, dynamic drive lines, drive shafts. Um, parts I mean, from Summit Racing everywhere. Basically, everything is is new, yeah. you know, except the body. It's it's a it's it's an old school, cool looking trail ride with modern day yeah. drivetrain, basically. Got the MSD stuff that came from Holly also, because people who don't realize Holly owns the world. They do. Uh, they own everybody, so they that's do. why it's good to be in with Holly. It's good to have people at Holly like Sparky. Yep. Um, 
because they own everything. So aside from all the comforts, like air conditioner and all that stuff, yeah. everything should be fine. Like it really sucks that you can't pull the top off because you gotta get it home too. But yeah. uh, aside from that, like uh, obviously the, the big nittos mm -hmm. are gonna be good for the stuff that you guys like to do. Uh, what was it, a sky lift? Skyjacker? Uh, yeah, we call it. Skyjacker, uh, Skyjacker, what, two inch? Uh, yeah, like two, yeah, two inch Skyjacker springs that we got from Summit. Um, the Nitto tires, of course, what are these? 33s, 35s? 33, 1250s. Uh, what, Detroit, are these the Detroit steels or these are the stock wheels? These are the stock wheels. That's yeah, right. Yeah, that we just put the, the center caps on. Yeah. Other than that, I'm That's really excited it. about the lift and the tires. That's it. We figured, <laughs> take it down the car. We the figured y'all would. Like, it, it's yeah. going to do good up there. Like, what did the motor make? 280? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, something like okay. that. 280, which is probably double what at it was. At least. Before. At least. He's over there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he rolled out, didn't he? Yeah. Aaron said yeah. Ryan vanished. So, so it, I've actually put quite a few miles on yeah. it just driving yeah. around the city, like yeah. up on the interstate. It runs really good. Mm -hmm. It's better than. Definitely better than what it was. Oh, yeah. for sure. Like we put a new gearbox on it because it, it was wandering real bad. And then we were gonna even be fine with that, but then it started leaking everywhere. And I just didn't want this thing just being a, a pile of oil. I'm all just over excited driveway. that I can't catch it on fire anymore. Oh yeah, whoa, don't, don't, do, you don't catch your chickens before they have. Don't say that, don't say that. You could, you could probably do both of them things still. You know, if you try hard enough. She did blow off the last exhaust that was on it. And then like, it caught it on fire. Like and that's what all this is on the hood here. So, you know, you know. But, but I, that's nice. part of the reason, but that's part of the reason we pulled that old motor out. It had yeah. that, like that old 283 in it. And I believe that the, the cam was just done in it. it. I think it had a couple of bad lobes in it. Had to. And so it would always backfire through the carburetor. Always, mm -hmm. didn't yeah. matter what you did. Yeah. It always did that. Yeah. So, so anyways. Oh, it's a cool truck though. Um, Let's see if it's gonna. I should get somebody to adjust them doors. So whenever you turn the key, just listen to it. Uh -huh. When the fuel pump cycles off, then start. And then it should start just like that. So. Yeah, that's a lot better. Hang on, it's not done yet. Yeah. It'll it'll have to go through its warm up process. It also is self learning, and as you drive it, it should you know should get better. Nice and quiet. Got a little bit of lobe to it from the little little cam from Summit. Yeah. Rancho shops, dynamic drive line drive shafts, big magnet flow motor back here to keep it quiet. It's got just enough cam to make her sound good. All right. You're going to drive this You're up. Or at least the Amarillo. At least Amarillo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's driving. <laughs> oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep. All right, well, I mean, it's only been here for four, what, four years? Well, three. Three? Yeah. Wow. Doesn't seem like that long. Yeah. It seems like we've worked on it three years the last two days. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all the work you've been doing. We know. I wasn't yeah. expecting all that. You, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's it fun. It's fun. You know, I think it will be. Oh, it will be. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Get in it and take off. Oh, okay. Get all the way up there. Oh, look at that. There it is. She's got it. <laughs> Ryan you can't open it. it. You can't drive it. Yeah, can't open it. Can't get in it. Can't drive it. She probably fits in there better than we do. Her belly's yeah. not hitting the hitting the steering, steering wheel. wheel shit. Yeah. She has the most stressful time of her life with me guiding her at times. Oh man. Hey, you need me to guide you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> probably. Cut it all the way. Don't back into the mud. Look, look, she's not even looking at me. Uh -uh. Oh, 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 it almost died. 